Hello friends, welcome back to another Instagram Picks My Manny video. For this video, I'm going to be doing some sort of blue silver wintery nail look. So I've done, I think, two of these already. This is my third one. And I asked you guys a bunch of polls, which I'll put up on the screen as we kind of get to them. But I think first off, we're just going to paint our base. So I'm going to be using this Maniology Teardrop for two of my nails, three of my nails. I'm trying to decide. And then I'm going to use London Town Dishy Splendor for also a couple of my nails. I asked you guys if you wanted me to do blue or pink, and 81% of you said blue. So that is where these colors are going to come in. And then 65% of you preferred a silver look over gold. So that is that part. And then like I said, it's going to be a winter nail look. So I'm going to use this Winstonia Sweater Weather plate. And I'm going to do this look right here with like the trees, the snowflakes, and the reindeer. And then I couldn't find a flaky polish that fit this look, so I'm just going to add some silver flake to a couple of my nails, so hopefully that <laughs> it can incorporate the flaky part of it. And then the nails will be glossy. So I am just going to kind of speed through painting my nails really quickly, and then I will show you guys some nail art. I'm using my Terra Beauty base coat and then a loud lacquer top coat. This is the SoFetch quick dry top coat and the number 19 base coat. I haven't used either of these, but I'm trying to work through my base and top coat collection. Okay, while I wait for this, I'm going to try to do this hand. Let's see. Oh, I put top coat on my thumbs as well because I don't think I'm going to do anything for those. Let's try and see if I can get... Let's see if I like this one better. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, I think I like that one better. It's taking up a little bit more of the nail, and you can kind of see the different colors. Yes, I love when things work out because when you get when I do these videos, I have no idea what you are gonna pick. So I literally just wait until I'm sitting down to do it and then I look at the polls because I can't plan until I'm getting ready to film for it so I just kind of wait and see what you guys pick so I love when it comes together this is so cute I love it I'm so excited that's really why I love doing these videos because I have so much stuff that sometimes it's just overwhelming and when I first did this video, I just felt so like, like free to do whatever I wanted. So I, I really like the creativity that comes with these. If you're feeling like stuck in your collection or you don't know what nail art you want to do, even if you're not like a crazy nail polish person, just like ask your friends and be like, Hey, what color should I do? See what they say. Because I have been absolutely loving when you guys pick these colors and what goes on my nails. Okay, I'm gonna do this finger and then 
we will go ahead and do this mess. This stuff is so messy. I really like it, but it's just really hard to work with. It's, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, but it's hard to work with for me. I have no intentions of stopping all of the stamping that I'm doing. So if you're not a stamping person or if you don't like the look of stamping, my next few videos might not be your favorite. But I have been absolutely loving it. I think that the looks come out really well as long as you have really good polishes. Because for the first little bit, I didn't have great polishes and my looks just were not coming out well. And I do have regular polish that works for stamping. Um, it just took me a minute to find those in my collection. But getting some stamping polishes really kind of drove me to be a little bit more interested. Because before, it was just like everything I was doing was just not turning out. And it was discouraging me from wanting to even try. I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to do some smudge free top coat on both of these and then I will get to the flaky part. This smudge free top coat has literally been everything. It's just the Maniology smudge free top coat and I really like it. I've had other ones and this one just really, really works well. Okay, let's play with some flakies a little bit. Um, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. But anytime I do flakies, I just take some base coat and um, kind of dot it on the nail that I'm working on. And I'm going to try to break this up a little bit. I think I'm going to concentrate the flakes kind of up at the top of my nail, kind of like, kind of like, a, um, what do I want to say? Like a French tip gradient type of something, but I'm going to place a bunch of them. And then I am going to use a little sponge and just kind of push them down. Not too much because I don't want to like go into my polish, but just very lightly. And I think I might leave it at that. So I'm going to do this finger and then the same fingers on this hand. Um, I messed that up. <laughs> put the flakies on here, but I meant to put them in here. So this finger will just be, um, regular top coat. I'm sure you guys were like, I thought that you already did that one. So this one will just be some regular top coat. And I actually kind of like that with both of the flakies together. So yeah, I will top coat this finger. And then I will put the flakies on this one. Okay, so I'm going to clean up a little bit, add some top coat, and I will come back and show you guys the look. Okay, here we are. I think that these might be my favorite that I've done with this kind of method. Um, I really like 
the silver with the like sweater over it and I think the flaky looks super cute too. I will insert a picture so you guys can see like the official swatch picture. If you want to be a part of how I get these looks next time, head over to my Instagram and follow me there. That is where I will have the polls. I do one-ish a month. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.